Welcome back, everyone. Ready to dive into some interesting stock updates today? Always ready for a deep dive. What do we have on the menu today? Well, we've got three companies we're going to look at. Capital and Ascend is right, Kaleo R for short. They're doing some interesting stuff in the U.S. Then we'll take a look at Golden Agri Resources. They've had some ups and downs in the palm oil world. Palm oil, that's a sector that's always got something going on. Definitely. And lastly, we'll wrap things up with Comfort Delgro. They're making some big moves overseas. All right, let's kick things off with Klahel AR then. U.S. expansion, you say? Yep. They just announced this big acquisition. Uh, they're buying land in the U.S. for a new logistics property. Oh, wow, a logistics property. So are they, like, getting into the warehousing game? Is that what this is all about? Exactly. And get this, the price tag is a cool S94.8 million dollars. Yeah. But here's what's really interesting for investors. This acquisition, it's expected to boost their distributions per unit. Ah, okay. So for folks who might not be familiar with REITs, basically a REIT is a real estate investment trust. Mm. And um, they essentially own and often operate income-producing real estate. Right. So for investors, one of the big attractions is those distributions, kind of like getting a share of the rental income, right? Exactly. And Claire making a move like this in the current climate, it's quite strategic. We've got e-commerce booming. Demand for warehouse space is going through the roof. They're positioning themselves to benefit from that growth, particularly in a market as large as the U.S. It makes you wonder if this is just their first step into the U.S. market. We'll have to see what the future holds. Mm. But speaking of interesting moves, let's shift gears to Golden Agri Resources. They're a big name in the palm oil industry, as you mentioned. Their latest financial results, though, they're a bit of a mixed bag, you know? Oh, how so? Well, their underlying profit for Q3, it dropped by 18% landing at U.S. $91 million compared to U.S. $110 million the previous quarter. Not exactly what investors want to see. Hmm, that's a significant dip. But when we talk about underlying profit, it's important to remember what that means. It essentially filters out any one-off gains or losses, giving you a clearer picture of the core business performance, you know. Right. It's like trying to see the forest for the trees. Mm -hmm. So what's behind this dip in Golden Agri's case? Well, from what I understand, they've been hit by those rising interest rates that everyone's been talking about. Plus, their income tax expenses have gone up. Those two factors combined... Well, it's definitely impacting their bottom line. But here's the twist. Despite the profit dip, their overall earnings for the quarter actually jumped up a whopping 80% increase. Wow, really? 80%? Mm -hmm. How did that happen? It seems they had some favorable foreign exchange gains, which boosted their overall earnings. So it really is a mixed bag, leaving investors trying to figure out the bigger picture. Makes sense. And it looks like the market is reflecting that uncertainty. Gold and Agri stock price dipped slightly, down 1.8% to close at 0.275 on Thursday. It'll be interesting to see how things play out in the coming months, especially given the volatility in the palm oil sector. Absolutely. Now for our final stop, let's zoom over to Comfort Delgro, the transportation giant. Their Q3 results paint a much brighter picture. Oh, good. Let's hear some good news. We're talking a 15.2% surge in net profit, that's $57.5 million, and an 18.4% increase in revenue, bringing them to a solid S1.2 billion dollars. Wow, that's impressive. What's driving those numbers? Well, it seems their strategy of expanding overseas is really paying off. They acquired CMAC Group in the UK and A to B Australia, and those acquisitions are contributing significantly to their growth. Makes sense. It shows they're not content with just staying put. They're actively expanding their reach and their range of services. It really does position them as a global player in the transportation industry. It does make you wonder, will this international success be the key driver for their growth going forward? It's definitely something to keep an eye on. So to sum it all up, CLR is making strategic moves in the U.S. logistics market. Golden Agri is weathering some storms in the palm oil world. And Comfort Delgro is riding high on its global expansion. Three very different stories. Absolutely, and it just goes to show how different factors, global trends, strategic acquisitions, fluctuating commodity prices, you name it, can all have an impact. I think the key takeaway for investors is to really look beyond the headlines and consider the long-term implications. You know, How are these factors gonna shape these industries in the years to come? Very well said. And that's a wrap for today's Deep Dive. Thanks for joining us on this exploration of the stock market. We'll catch you next time for another insightful look at the companies making moves and the factors driving those changes. See you then. Bye, everyone. Bye.